Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How much does this? A special delivery has arrived for today's video, and I'm going to be unboxing it. But I'm also going to be opening this sealed display case of Pokemon Go mini tins. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing, guys. You guys probably already know what this is. Probably gonna spoil it in the thumbnails and the title, but the time has come, guys. The time has come. All right, guys. So there's the back of it. You can already see it. Promo card special delivery Charizard And here it is Oh Oh man no I'm not gonna unseal it guys I'm gonna keep it in this seal I think this one I would rather keep sealed But To be honest Kind of top heavy But it looks Really nicely centered A couple of the ones that I've seen in other videos Have been off center and pictures and on eBay as well. So I was just checking the prices of them. But this one looks quite well centered compared to all of those ones. But if I wanted to trade it, <sighs> oh, it's tempting. It's tempting. It's very tempting. But now I'm gonna keep this one sealed. I may, depending on when how prices drop. If they drop below like a hundred, a hundred pound mark, I might even just buy one and then create this one. And then keep like a off centered one seal or something like that. But there's your special delivery Charizard, guys. And instead of buying packs, I ended up buying on the Pokemon Center a t shirt of Cynthia and Garchomp. Hopefully, you can still hear me, guys. But here's the t shirt in its full form. Hopefully, you can see it as well. But, and um, boom, this is how the t shirt looks on person. There's nothing on the back. Yep, nothing on the back. That's simply on Garchomp. Alright guys, so without further scooby ado, let's get into the Pokemon Go sealed display case. These display cases are so nice to keep sealed. Almost want to keep it sealed. But, let's get it open. So here's how the display case looks unsealed. There you go. Alright, let's keep it on the side there. And we'll start off with this Pikachu. Should be able to slide off. Yep. Easily nice. There we go. I believe you should get a coin. Yep. Here's your jumbo. Here's your jumbo Pikachu coin. It's got like a rainbow sort of effect to it as well. This is actually a cute Pikachu coin, I like it. There you go. And then you get your art card. There you go. And two booster packs. And a call card. And here's your Pokemon Go codes, guys. Grab it if you want it. There you go. Alright. Let's get into these packs. So let's see these tins. I don't remember. I think I've opened up the, the Celebrations mini tins. I don't remember. If I did well with those mini tins or not. But this whole this Pokemon Go one does. So we're starting with Relief Energy, Chansey, Sorok, Ariados, Wimpod, The Dove, Magikarp, Meltan, EV, Reverse Pogestop. And our first one is a Melmetal Hollow. Moving on to our second pack. So yeah guys, um you're not gonna believe this. You are not gonna believe this. Actually no, I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. Let me just get this one open. So we've got lightning energy. Something feels way bigger than the rest of these cards in this one. Squirtle. Generate. Green card. Lavata. Lamel. Reverse Charmander. Oh my days. Yes! Finally! I finally pulled it. My chase card. Oh my day. My first minute in. This is success, Bob. What? Nani? Frick. 
don't know how you're gonna see that on can you see that guys oh and the I finally pulled my chase card and it's like what is that really I don't know what that is as well it's like It's like the hollow foil just, I don't know, rubbed off it or something. But yes, oh my days guys, I finally pulled it. The full art Dragonite. First tin magic, I guess. First tin magic and then... Second pack magic. Nice. Alright guys, so I'm going to get the rest of these tins open. And then I'm going to show you the art cards and the codes. Just to save time. But I'll be right back. Alright guys, so that's how it would always look together when you put them together which sucks because I would have liked to have actually framed it like a custom frame but you can't, obviously you can't frame it when there's one going up, one down and then zigzag So what I like to have done, what I did with the celebrations up there Right there But, nope, can't be done But anyway, here's your card, cold cards, this is going to take a while guys I don't know if there's going to be a better way but there's one there's gonna be nine codes, which is gonna take some time, so I'll do it as quick as I can. There you go. Good luck with the codes, guys. Good luck with the code. Apparently, there's a secret rare or a rare piece of um, gear, whatever you call it, um, backpack or something that you can get. For one of these codes. Oh, why is that one different? That one comes before. And then this one feels more paperish, but what the hell? Look, these these have like a card sort of thingy to it. And then that one felt like paper, but anyway. Alright, guys, let's get into the packs. Yes, as we get into this pack, guys, you're not gonna believe this. I got a freebie with these mini tins. I was sent a free pack. Hi -five. Hi -five. With these mini tins as a pack when I purchased them. That one pack, I was gonna save it with the video. Reverse people to our pussy. Yeah, I was gonna save it to open it with this video. It's, it's one pack. I thought, ah, it's one pack. My luck ain't that great. Um, it's not gonna be nothing. Lo and behold, that one pack that you decide to open off camera becomes the best luck ever off camera of course so what i'll do is show you an image right now right here And as I show you that image, of course, I'm going to go and pull a Radiant Blast Twice. And... Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! Another one for the Master Set, guys. Yo! These mini tins. These mini tins are the way to go. Holy! Not only did I pull my Chase card, another one of my Chase cards. I pulled a Radiant Blast twice and another one for the Master Set in the Rainbow Spark. Woohoo! This is it, guys. I mean, wow. This, my luck has turned around for this with the mini tins and then that one random pack that I got for free. Which turned into an O and R, O R YouTube. Oh my God! This opening is going to be fire, including that special delivery Charizard. Wow! Oh my! Reverse Sorok and a Mewtwo V. Nice. Wow! So far, it's been like every tin has had a hit. Every. 
Every tin has had a hit though, the first tin was the Dragon Knight for it. The second one was a Mewtwo V and a uh, Radiant Blastoise and Rainbow Spark. Wow. Okay, so let's see in this one. Yep, there's something in this one. Darkness Energy, Sora, Low Module, Charmeleon, Bulbasaur. I spoiled it for myself. Well, I can see it for myself. And I spoiled it for you guys. Whereas Charmander. Oh my. Oh my. This is a busted display case. A very busted one in, in every way. As in pulls, hits, and quality as well. My first Dragonite, you saw that. It had all of that. What was it? I don't even know what it was. And then this one's a miscut. Full Art Dragonite. I feel like I might grade this one for a miscut. Great. Should I grade it for a miscut? This should come back as a miscut. Oh, maybe I just have to do that. Maybe. What? Wow. In three tins, guys, I've pulled my chase card twice. A Radiant. And then something for the Master Set. In the rainbow spot. Oh my days. Is this, is this. Oh, can this mini tin. Can this mini tin actually help me complete the monster set? Oh. So, so far, three tins. Bangers. Three tins, bangers. Lightning energy, slow bro. Unitone. Chauncey. Love the. Apron. Spinneret. Golden Retata. Wing Pod. I'm Feathered. And a Lepros. Alright, so this should be our fourth tin now. Oh my, can't believe it. High five. Great candy, water to candela. After these tins as well, there's going to be, I believe, I think, first, Uncle the V. I believe there's gonna be the Pokeball tins and then the pin collections left and then the Dragonite as I drop my bulk. Um, yeah, the, the Dragonite premium collection, that one's synergy, the pin collection, and the Pokeballs. I think the Pokeballs and the pin collections releasing at the end of this month and then Charizard, nice and then the Dragonite releasing at the end of September so I think, I believe 27th of August is when those um, pink collections release I don't remember the Pokeball tins, I'm not too sure about the Pokeball tins but Reverse Plissy Yahoo! and a Slapping V. So yeah, we'll have those to open. Um, what the hell? Something feels a bit... That cold cut. I don't know. Why do these cards feel... Some of them feel bigger than the others. Anyway, so, I don't remember when the Pokeball Tins are releasing, I think they're supposed to release at the same time as the Penny Collections, I believe. And then, the Penny Collections were actually supposed to release, I think, sometime around now, but they got delayed. Yeah, I think the Penny Collections got delayed till the end of the month. And I'm guessing the Pokeball Tins as well. So... There's those, and then um, I just can't wait for the um, I just can't wait for the the Dragonite. By then, hopefully, hopefully, I've completed the master set. All I need to add is the, the promos from the premium, the Dragonite premium collection, and then I can show you the master set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to, at this point, I feel like I'm gonna from these mini tins, although it's been getting stale, I've only been putting these. Yeah, I've only been putting these at this point, but I, I feel like I've 
pulled, I'm going to pull all of the Vs. I think I'm just missing Dragonite V now. I believe I'm just missing Dragonite V. And then I've completed the V set. Oh, exactly the V, which I'll probably more than likely pull as well anyway. But yeah, I think after I do that nice, a number ditto, a numel ditto, words couldn't come out of my mouth just then, first choice. Because I'm actually going to buy singles, I'm not going to open apart, unless I manage to pull all the stuff that I need from the remaining products to open. Like from those Pokeball tins, the pin collection, stuff like that. And then the Dragonite. High five. I'm going to, I think I've already started buying singles anyway. For this set, so I believe straight after that Dragonite Premium Collection, the next video also. Where is it? Yeah, straight straight after that Dragonite Premium Collection. I think the next video I'll do is. I don't know how they glued this pack, but bloody hell, what the hell? Yeah, straight after that Dragonite Premium Collection. Next video, up I upload will probably be a master set. Hopefully, by then I would have bought all the things I need. And the thing is, I bet you any money. Yahoo! Nice, there you go. Just missing Dragonite now. Just missing Dragonite. Hello, the next extra V. So, I say we've got about two tins left. And so far, nothing but these. The first. I think a couple of tins, the first two tins yielded. The first three tins. You did the best results. And then it just went dud from there. But yeah, I bet you any money. I'm gonna buy all the singles that I need before the rest comes out. And then I'll probably end up pulling the ones that I actually need. That will be my luck. So I'll buy them singles just to have it ready as soon as I open that Dragon Up Premium Collection. Only to pull. The rest of what I need, but I mean, I wouldn't mind anyway having doubles if I pull them again. At least I can say I recorded myself pulling the cards, and then depending on what I pull as well, I can grade them. And then the singles that you buy anyway, if you're actually like me trying to go for the cheapest route, not caring about centering and high five. That kind of stuff, then the ones that you pull hopefully are the ones are worth grading and better quality. Because for my binder, I, I don't look for centering and stuff like that. If trim, whatever, as, as long as it's going in my binder, I'm not really too bothered about the quality, to be honest. Lightning energy. I guess so. But yeah, soon guys, well, I say at the end of September, at the beginning of October, you'll be seeing my... Yahoo! Wow, last pack magic and we just pulled the Dragonite V. Wow. Okay guys, time for a special recap. guys for this recap this was definitely a very special delivery bearing in mind i did actually receive the mini tins and the the special delivery charizard package at the same time so it was definitely a special delivery considering the hits that i got but okay so we got literally we pulled every v in this video this would have been sick for like a beginner video if i started this mini tins at the beginning I would have put every V in the one video. But anyway, enough babbling. Lolan Executor V, Dragonite V, Melmetal V, Stacking V, Funk Elder V, and Mewtwo V. All, I believe, all of the Vs in one video. Radiant Blastoise, which I pulled. No, not with the Dragonite, but that's Radiant Blastoise. Two Dragonites. My chase card. The one big chase card that I say that I wanted in this set the most two of them I didn't even think I was gonna pull one this one in the red sleeve is I don't there's like this dirt all around it on the surface so it's crap 
off center as well. And then this one is like probably miscut. They probably get a miscut grade. And then with the Radiant Blastoise for the Rainbow Spot, which is from a Master Set, yes. This is the last Rainbow Trainer that I need as well for the Master Set. And then we have a Special Delivery Charizard, which to be honest looks really good condition. I oh. Any swirls, any swirls? I don't think there's any swirls. If it had a swirl hole, that would have just been the cream on it. But yeah, it looks like it's in good condition. I can't tell from the back, obviously, because of the white backing card, whatever it's called. But yeah, that is the special delivery Charizard, guys. And the Pokemon Go Mini Tins dis display. Pokemon Go Mini Tins display case. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.